Um, before I started Access, I was working, um, I took about five years out of education. Um, I did about two and a half years in retail and two and a half years uh, in an office job with a uh, referencing company. Um, before I started Access, uh, I was actually working uh, as an accounts assistant in a mortgage brokers for three years um, and I got made part time. Um, so I thought, hey, let's fill the hours with something and I went back to study. Um, which paid off at the end because I got made redundant. So I found out about the Access to HE course um, by contacting my local FE college um, and I was asking them about what sort of level three qualifications they could give um, with the view to do A levels, but then they suggested the Access to HE course. Uh, I went to an open day and I met the tutors and they were so nice. And that was what sold it for me. Um, definitely seeing how um, both Lauren and my mother did during the access course. Um, they seemed to really enjoy it. They found it quite engaging. Um, and obviously seeing the places that it took them to. Um, obviously me and Lauren have had a similar background, um, funnily enough. Um, so I thought, well, look at how well they're doing. Um, I might as well give it a go. In applying to university as an Access to HE Diploma um, graduate, I definitely reached out to the universities um, just to see what that like how warm they were to the Access to HE. Um, everyone was so welcoming. Um, I got five out of five offers from all really good universities. Um, Cambridge was amazing about it, um, particularly my college, Lucy Cavendish, uh, Lucy Cavendish College. They really wanted to speak to me. They wanted to hear about my experiences and um, they really encouraged me. And when I did get my offer and I accepted um, Cambridge were really good. They offered a sort of transition course. So we arrived, me and, and other people who'd done access to HE diploma arrived a week early and we got some extra tuition and we got to make some friends. And then throughout my whole time in Cambridge, I was so supported, um, particularly by my directors of studies. Um, so they really looked after me. So that transition, it was a big change, but there is there were certainly people there to guide me the whole way through. Um, when it came to applying for uh, university access, were really, really helpful. Um, we had so many sessions dedicated to personal statements and just navigating UCAS. Um, so I, I, I wasn't worried about that at all. Um, I, I also got all five um, of the university that I applied for, I got offers for, um, which I was really shocked by, um, but so like so proud of. Um, and when it came to a, um, actually attending university, um, I, I did the same as Lauren. I, I spoke to the, the lecturers who were there and I asked how they integrate uh, mature students and access students. And they were all really passionate about getting us on and having students with that kind of little bit of extra life experience. Um, particularly with working and, and sort of having a career, um, I found or like most of the universities I spoke to were really passionate about having access students on. So obviously you look at, always look at the, um, like the league tables, like who's doing best at what. I was really interested to see who was performing the best with linguistics sp specifically. Um, obviously, you go around all the open days and Sheffield, I was just so impressed by all the equipment that they had to offer with all their um, speech and language um, like recognition technology um, and, and speaking specifically to the to the lecturers there. I just got a, a feel for how passionate they were um, in, in their field. And that's that's what got me in the end. Um, so I think for me. I always knew I wanted to go to Cambridge uh, ever since I was little. It had always been a dream of mine. Um, applying to Cambridge or Oxford is slightly different to applying to other universities because you apply to a college rather than the overall university. Um, but I kind of did the research exactly the same way that you would with any university. I, I sort of went on each of the college's web pages and you can tell a lot about a college from its web page um, and I decided to just get in contact via email um, with the admissions teams 
um, you know, they're just it's just a person answering emails at the end of the day. And um, I asked them, you know, do you accept the access course? What would be your requirements? How would you feel about me coming to your college um, with the access diploma? And my my college that I ended up going to, Lucy Cavendish, um, they were amazing. They were so welcoming. They were so enthusiastic. Um, and that was the whole way through the process. My interview, they were so welcoming and encouraging. Um, you know, when I went into that interview, I knew I'd made the right decision with Lucy Cavendish. Um, with the other universities, I did very much the same, you know, Nottingham, York. I, I reached out to them and said, what would your requirements be? Can I talk to somebody about this? Um, admissions officers, admissions tutors, they're all, you know, they all want to help. That's what they're there to do. Um, so, yeah, I would recommend reaching out to people and, and speaking and having that conversation, getting your name on the table and saying, hey, look, this is my background. It's not necessarily what you call traditional, um, but can we talk about it? I'd really like to apply. I'd really like to do this. Um, and most people are so welcoming and really want to hear from people doing the access to HE diploma. Um, so it's taken me to University of Sheffield. So I'm in my second year studying English language and linguistics. Um, and I'm thinking about all sorts of careers I never really would have considered before. Um, a lot of stuff to do with phonetics and speech recognition technology. Um, that kind of stuff is all possibilities for me now, uh, which I never really thought I would have got before. Uh, I think that the access to higher education diploma has really shaped my life the way it is right now. Um, I went and studied at Cambridge and had some really phenomenal experiences, um, including living with a baroness for a little while. Uh, that then led to me um, studying a master's at Oxford. So achieving two of the things I sort of had dreamed about, but I, I didn't think were possible. Uh, and then those have uh, shaped me. I, I now work in education. I work for the University of Cambridge uh, in education policy. So it's just opened so many doors. It's completely changed my life. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful. 